Hello, everyone. So in your Edmodo, you are going to go to the post that says 929 energy level. There is a link for the reading. There are practice questions and there's my email that you turn them into. So today we are going to look at energy levels. And this kind of brings us back to the Bohr atomic model. OK, so energy levels. Um, and we'll also call them electron shells. These are fixed distances from the nucleus of the atom where the electrons may be found. So it's kind of like the Bohr model where we have a fixed distance from the nucleus. All right. So energy levels, they're like the steps of a staircase where you can stand on one step or the other, but you can't necessarily stand in between the steps. All right, so it's kind of like the Bohr model in that they can be here or here, but they can't be in between. All right, this diagram is going to show the first four energy levels. Um, so in energy level one, electrons are going to have the least amount of energy. And then as you move out from the nucleus, as you move farther and farther out, um, the electrons are going to have higher and higher energy. So what happens is an atom needs to absorb a certain amount of energy to get the electron to jump from one energy level to another. Now, if an electron is going to go from go down in energy levels, um, it is going to give off energy in the form of light, the form of a photon. So different atoms are going to have different arrangements of electrons and thus give off different colors. Um, so this is applicable to fireworks. So this is something that's actually real world applicable. So fireworks are going to, when fireworks explode, it's the electrons gaining energy and jumping to a higher energy level. And then when the electrons uh, return to their original energy levels, they are going to release this energy as different colors of light. And that's how fireworks work. So energy levels in and orbitals. So if you remember, um, an orbital is a space where an electron can possibly be. All right. So the maximum number of electrons possible for each energy level um, is going, going to depend on the number of orbitals there. So energy level one in our diagram only has one orbital, so it can hold two electrons. All right. Energy level two has four orbitals. So it can hold eight electrons. So each orbital can hold two electrons. All right. And later on, we're going to get into um, s orbitals and p orbitals. But that goes mainly by the shape, where s is a sphere, p is more of a dumbbell shape. So make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me.